Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk, and I've had a request on how to slice things, so I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just start with a box, I suppose. So make a box. Ta-da, there we go. Increase the number of segments along it, just for fun. And say so we want to slice this thing up. Well, probably the best way to do it, let's make a mesh smooth so it looks more natural, I guess. And I'll right-click on, well, convert to edible poly, and then I want to mesh smooth this thing. So drop a modifier on. And I'm going to smooth it. I'll collapse all. I got a lot of points and polygons in there. That's fine. So I'm going to carve this thing up. I want to slice it. Probably the best way to slice it is like this. I'll just carve a slice off like that. It's not going to be an even slicer. Maybe I can. Pretend it's bread or something. I'll do a fairly just a little bit off slice. There's a tool there for it. And you can grab there. And it's in the modifiers. Pull this over a bit. And it's called Quick Slice. And if you click and hold it down and pull it through, it's going to show you exactly where it slices. I'll double click it and then it just makes the cut. Now the trick about using this tool that you definitely want to know is once that is done, the way to select it is a bit tricky. I'm going to grab the polygons and I'll do for my selection, I'll hold down and I will do that kind of lasso selection. And I'll start right where that cut started and I'll end right where that cut and ah you know it's still got quick slice on very careful take that off for my selection I'll start where it started grab the polys and end where it ended you notice it's drawing that for me so that's awesome I should get everything selected that way selection's working good okay let's try it again so start here all the way around and it should select it all. I'm going to double check by going around here. There it is. So I got this perfect slice. All right. So if I move that off or detach it or something, I'll go ahead and detach it because I want it. Well, you don't necessarily have to, but I will. I'll detach it. Something separate. I call it slice one. And then it's quite easy to grab because it's its own thing. I'll go to the top here to get out of it or escape. I'll grab it and move it over. So I'll get this moved over, maybe fall down and rotate it, whatever you need to do. So the first slice, <laughs> there's another thing I can grab in here for the hierarchies, affect the pivot only and center to the object. Best way to move it around, take that off when you're done with it, and then move it back to where it needs to be, that's all. Alright, so a slice of bread fell off. Now this looks ridiculous because I've got it wide open, which is not how it should be. So the nice thing you have to do to follow it up when I select it is border. Grab the border and hit cap. So the border and hit cap. What this will do is, of course, close it out. And not just close it out, but it will make it look smooth. Like it was really cut with a fine knife. So I'll border cap it and get out of there. Go to the other one here. I'll do the same thing. Select the border, hit it, and cap it. Boom. And then we're done. Well, I'll probably want a different texture on that or something. But that's how it works. Oh, there it goes. It was in the shadows. And now we have a sliced piece of bread. And that. Is how you slice pretty much anything.